from the heart of Louisiana, USA, meet Dee Dee, a mother whose story touches the heart. My daughter, Daylin, was diagnosed with HLH, which is an auto autoimmune disease that attacks the liver, spleen, and platelets. The only cure for it would be a stem cell transplant. There was hope, and Dee Dee was fighting to save Daylin's life. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. We lost her. The pain going through something like that is unbearable. And it's like so unreal. And you're like, why? Why is this happening to my little girl? Then another challenge appeared on the horizon. While I'm home, supposed to be grieving. Daylin's got a twin sister, Demi, who then was also diagnosed with HLH. And she needed a stem cell transplant also. Although she was grieving, Dee Dee needed to make the hardest decision of her life. Did Demi need a stem cell transplant right away, or could it wait? I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for that to happen. The doctors, everybody was like, told me that you need to wait. You need to have time to grieve for Daylin. But I refused. I refused. Demi herself was like a ticking time bomb. And I didn't want her to get sick the way that Daylin was. If I could have taken a little bit of that pain away from Demi, that's what I was trying to do. So that's why I was I said, we have to do it now. And I just felt like a soldier, that I had to fight, fight, fight. They were kind of looking out for my mental health in a, in, a, in a sense, because they felt like I needed the time to grieve. But what if I eventually, I'm, I'm grieving for both of them. I, I, that's what it, I was trying to avoid. Luckily, they quickly found a donor. The only thing that I knew about Demi's donor was that um, he was uh, a male from overseas somewhere, also an absolute hero. Meanwhile, across the ocean in Southampton, UK, there was Rob, who could save Demi's life. So I joined the stem cell registry when I went to donate blood. Um, and then I, I went ahead and um, looked online about it after thinking about it and then DKMS was the first website that came up for me um, and I, I obviously had a click around on their website um, and then I joined from there. I joined because I like helping people, um, it's, it's a good feeling for me and you know it's, it's one of those things that is just I'll do all the time. DKMS um, sent me a, a swab kit and I swabbed the insides of my cheeks. Um, and then sent it off, and then from there I was just waiting. To swab, it takes, it takes like five minutes. It's not a long process. Rob was Demi's perfect match, and she had a successful transplant. Life was finally good again. And um, when they told me, you know, they just kept coming with good news, good news, better news, and I couldn't be happier, you know, on how, how healthy she, she, she was. It's incredible how just a little bit of your time can save a life. 
Um, I feel like it's a privilege to be able to donate and it's, it's a rare thing to do, um, to be able to save a life and it's, it's an incredible feeling for me. Um, I felt like, like there was nothing that could stop me in that, at that point. It's, it's one of those things that's like, it's rare. If it wasn't for Rob, this, I mean, it could have ended even worse than what it already was at the time. Um, you know, I could have lost both of them. As we remember Dalin, her legacy lives on. Um, Dalin, I know that she's going to be always with me in my heart. And here is a special message from Demi to Rob. I love you, Rob, and and you're the best donor ever. And you saved my life. I can't wait to see you when I get to the gala.